new things that are vibing in my studio here. Yeah. here again so I know I haven't done a lot of vlog updates it's really hard to fit everything in in a day between my newsletters between creating new resources for TPT between creating resources for Artastic Collective I'm creating resources for my upcoming online streaming art lesson platform called Artastic Kids that's coming soon for families so parents check it out it's artastickids.com you can preview it now enrollment is coming soon um, so I'm doing that I have a podcast I blog all of the above so if anything's gonna go it's gonna be the vlogs but now I have some time to just talk about some of the cool what's neat what's new in Mizertastic on TPT and also on the Artastic Collective as well so um, if you go to Ms. Artastic on TeachersPayTeachers.com, link below the video, you're going to notice that I have a lot, a lot of new art lessons, some of which include my Artivity books. So I've made Artivity books for um, all the way up until ugh, Valentine's Day. I did St. Patrick's Day, I believe. I can't remember. Maybe I did Easter, maybe I didn't. I'm not even really sure. It's kind of like a blur, but I will make sure I do them my activity books for all the seasons and holidays, so no worries. Um, I've also done roll and draws, and I have completed roll and draws for all the seasons and holidays. So if you're looking for some fun roll and draw uh, workbooks, check out my roll and draw section in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Dude, all of them are done. Halloween's done. End of year, back to school, every single roll and draw. Um, for every single season and holiday, dude, it's all done. You can grab it as a bundle and then just be one and done, right? Um, that's all done. Um, but I've also just released this week. I've gone crazy making art lessons this week and I've made some fun things. So we're going to check out in this video some of the new art lessons that are now released in my Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teacher Store, but are also included with your Artastic Collective membership. So if you are an Artastic Collective member, which is my membership for art educators, um, it always opens every June. No, it doesn't. Every January. Oh, every January and every single August. Every January, every August, Artastic Collective. Um, so yeah, you'll grab these inside your holidays and seasonal section. So one thing I've been trying to do is infuse my seasonal art projects or holidays art projects with the style of artists from art history. So I've been kind of trying some new things. So we're just gonna check it out. I have Valentine's Day lessons here in this pile. Valentine's Day, I have St. Patrick's Day, spring, and Easter. Okay, so that's what we're gonna check it out. And these are the upcoming seasons and holidays. So if you're planning right now, you're like, oh, I need some ideas for what to do in my classroom. My friend, doesn't matter what you teach, maybe it's life skills and you wanna have some projects for that. Maybe it's, uh, you're just a general elementary teacher, uh, primary teacher, middle school teacher, you're an art educator, whatever. Hey, here are some fabulous ideas of what you can do. All of these are going to be infused with some art history. So maybe I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna show them first and then you can try to see if you can guess what they are. This one's an easy one. Guess what they are before I tell you. All right, maybe you gotta guess in your head, I hope so. <laughs> A Van Gogh inspired Valentine's Day art project. Oh yeah. Okay, see if you can guess the next one. I won't tell you right away. Who is it? Yes, Wayne Thibode watercolor our project this one is beautiful for middle school students so if you are teaching middle school age students between grade i'd say grade six to nine this is a lovely watercolor art project so you can teach watercolor skills and it's a full video all these by the way are full video art tutorials all the pdfs with the assessment rubrics all of that's included your reflections everything everything's included don't worry um, so yeah, this one would be great for teaching watercolor te techniques, Wayne Thibode style, um, but also Valentine's Day, all in one. Trying to bring everything together in art projects to make it easier for educators. Okay, next one is this lovely 
You guess. Guess, guess, guess. Who is it? Who is it? Yes! It is Yayoi Kuzma inspired heart perfect for kindness month. Could be for pink shirt day, but I made it for Valentine's Day, but it could be flexible, right? Love and kindness is good always. So yeah, we got this lovely Yayoi Kusama art project. Uh, this one's perfect for primary, definitely can use it for elementary as well. And I got it rearranged here, so you're not gonna have any overlap. Okay, who's this? Guess, guess, guess. Yes, this, and then yes, we are into St. Patrick's Day, but this is a shamrock inspired by the style of Alma Woodsy Thomas. Oh yeah, so you gotta bring that in. So it's not just St. Patrick's Day, but we are also looking at the style of the artist and pattern and repetition and all that. I'm gonna really sure, I'm sure you're gonna guess who inspired these four leaf clovers. Yes, it's Alma Woodsy, I know. Oh. It is Yayoi Kusa, my friend. Kusama, my friend. I have filmed a lot in a row, so um, my mouth and brain are going black. Okay, check this one out. Who's this inspired by? I wonder. Yes, this is a Vincent Van Gogh inspired vase of shamrocks. Oh yeah. So just a little fun twist on some of our art history favorites. Okay. We are into spring. All right, so some spring vibes if you're planning ahead or if you're in spring. Um, this is what's neat for spring. Who is this artist inspired by? Mm -hmm. Ted Harrison. Uh-huh. We got a lovely Ted Harrison art project here. Uh, some butterfly vibes going on. I've included some daffodils and we got those classic beautiful Ted Harrison colors and inspiration style of art making. Look at that sky going on. Full of Ted Harrison vibes. So we can check out those kinds of inspiration and teaching the technique and style of artists, but also making it fun and engaging for kids. And also they can relate and get excited about their holidays and seasons coming up. Hey, okay, another spring artwork. This is a vase of tulips inspired by Van Vincent Van Gogh's vase of sunflowers. This one's a tricky one. Hmm, I wonder who this spring duck was inspired by. <laughs> nah, it's easy. Pablo Picasso, spring duck with tulips inspired art project. Lovely resist painting, perfect for elementary primary. Okay, here we go, last round and I think Oh, like every time I do these, you know, I'll do like all the Valentines, I'll do all the Easter all at once. And every time I do these, um, dude, I just get so excited about the latest ones. Okay, this is the ones I just finished um, the day of recording this video. <laughs> so I'm pumped. All right. Okay, first one. No, I'm going to switch it. Mm, yeah, okay, no. Which order? Okay. We'll do the, okay, no, I'm just gonna go back to the original order. Okay, this is a primary one. Primary could be elementary. I'll let you guess. It is Yayoi Kusama inspired Easter Bunny. I mean, I don't picture Yayoi Kusama making Easter Bunnies. <laughs> it doesn't seem like her thing. However, um, I think it's a great way to introduce line and contrast and pattern and shape to primary kids. You got wax resist, it's just using wax crayons and your watercolor or temper paints. Um, and it's all pulling it in into one art project, but also you can get kids excited about, you know, grab their attention with the Easter Bunny. So it's kind of like pulling everything together and it's very different for an Easter project, right? We're not seeing a lot of <laughs> high contrast, dotted, shaped art, especially with black backgrounds, but of course it's gonna be student choice what color they use for the paint. But anyways, it's a very different style for um, something that is Easter. So I think that's a great way to just like push kids out of their comfort zone. They're like, whoa, this is strange and unusual. This is not what I see when I walk into Walmart. No, it's not because this is Ms. Artastic and art is all about creating and experimenting and having fun. Okay, another unusual take 
on Easter. I just took some bizarre pears and just mashed them together. I like to do bizarre work. This is not finished, FYI. I, you might have noticed before had eyes. <laughs> and then one day I walked in my studio and I was like, no! You know. Okay, but here's another one, bizarre. Can you guess? What style is this? It might be a little bit backwards in the camera. I apologize about that. So if you're like, that letter E is backwards, well, you're getting the mirrored image. But who do you think this is, I wonder? Can you guess? It is an Easter Bunny inspired by the style of art making of Jean-Michel Basquiat. So if you've taught an art unit on Jean-Michel Basquiat, or if you want to ease kids into learning about Basquiat, um, this is a great one. It's super friendly, engaging, a little bit easier for them to um, access some of his art, pro you know, the style of his art. It teaches um, the similar style, right? This one's using, this is actually just temper paint, liquid temper paint, as in this liquid temper paint. I got this at the dollar store, to be honest. Dollar Tree, dollar 25, right? Uh, dollar Tree, praying, this is just praying temper paint. That's it, and oil pastel to make this. All that is, is oil pastel and temper paint, but I'm gonna show you how to layer it and use it in a way that you can create that vibe and essence and flavor that Jean-Michel Basquiat brought to this world and brought and like really owned in his artworks. But through the lens of Easter and making it engaging with an Easter bunny. So check that out. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make that one. Again, this is these are all what I've showed you. These are all full video art tutorials and you can just use it in two ways. So if you grab it in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, Ms. Artastic, or in the Artastic Collective full video tutorial, you just have to hit play. Okay, put the screen on, relax, hit pause as you need to. You can make me stop, you can make me rewind. Or if you don't like that style of teaching, right? Because you could, when I'm teaching through a video, you could be going around supporting kids. It kind of gives you an extra um, person. These are all fused with music and everything. So it really captivates kids like, whoa, they love YouTube, right? So it's kind of like bringing that flavor into your classroom. But if you don't like that, you watch the video, learn how to do it. I'm modeling it for you, and then you can teach the lesson in your classroom. So it depends on your teaching style. If you want to teach yourself, then you just watch it, you learn it, then you do it. Or if you want me to teach, you hit play, you support in your classroom and pause as needed or hit play as needed. It depends on what you do. Um, it depends on your teaching style. You do you, my lovely friend, okay? So this is Jean-Michel Basquiat. Easter Bunny Art Project, super crazy. I love that one, I love Basquiat. Anyway, okay, 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 okay. Who do you think this one is? This, one's, this one might be the trickiest one to kind of guess because this person never did an Easter egg. But they did do a lot of things that were everyday objects like hot dogs, lipsticks, cake, hmm. Yeah, Wayne Thibault, it, this one's a very, okay. This looks simple, but this art project is packed with techniques for painting. And this is all acrylic paint. If this is a middle school art project because the only palette colors that you're gonna give kids are primary colors, so yellow, blue, red, a tint, um, so white for making tints and black for making shades, just a little of each, that's it. That's all they get, and I'm gonna walk them through color theory and color mixing to create all of this and layering the colors and applying the paint in the style of the artist, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, but we're making our colors and that's it, and tints. <laughs> so kids are gonna really explore color mixing with this art project, and of course, layering the mediums, and at the very end, we're gonna add just a couple colors of oil pastel just to get those fine lines and vibrancy that might be too hard for them to achieve with paint, just so that way they go, whoa! Check that out, confidence builder, right? Plus it's always fun to just apply multiple mediums to art. I always think that it just adds another dimension when we're using more than one medium. You'll notice all my art projects 
tend to use multiple mediums, right? This is temper paint and oil pastel. This is acrylic paint and oil pastel. This one is wax crayon and uh, watercolor paint or temper paint cakes, right? So changing the medium is going to be another way to engage the kids. At first we're using wax crayon, they start getting bored. Whoa, no way, now we're painting, right? You gotta switch it around. This one is oil pastel and paint. A lot of these actually are oil pastel and paint. So I'm always switching. This one is ink and paint. So again, switching it up, changing the vibes. That way we're keeping the kids engaged, experimenting, and then they can even see how different art mediums are interacting with each other. So if you want to find these art lessons, the link is for my Teachers Pay Teacher store is below. Below the video, you can go on in, check it out. In the left side of the video, you're gonna see like a categories and you can click those seasons, right? It'll have a big list of different words like art history, artists and art history, elements and principles, sketchbooks, distance learning, but also you're gonna see the holidays and seasons. So you can click on Valentine's Day at the bottom because V's at the bottom. Um, you can click on St. Patrick's Day. You can click on spring. You could click on Easter and find these art projects if they're not on my main page. You can go in and check them out in the individual categories. It makes it really easy. So Miserfantastic on TeachersPayTeachers.com or you can find these in your holidays and seasons, seasonal uh, sections if you are a member of the Artastic Collective. Whatever you want, whatever you do, you do you, my lovely friends. So those are the cool new things that are vibing in my studio here. Yeah. So grab your art making mediums, head on over to Ms. Artastic on teacherpayteacher.com. Load up your cart with some new flavors that you're gonna bring to your classroom and let's make some art. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are, for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons, all the holidays and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design and art history and so much more my friends. It's a fabulous resource so check it out if you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom. You can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com in that search bar just click it and you can type in Ms. Artastic same as this YouTube channel. There I am you can click that and that's going to bring you to this page and you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down scroll and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out, Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers. And thank you so much for watching.